Julian Assange, the man behind WikiLeaks. Julian Assange, an Australian computer programmer and activist, rose to international prominence as the founder of WikiLeaks. Founded in 2006, WikiLeaks quickly gained notoriety for its controversial role in publishing leaked information, often from anonymous sources. The organization's stated aim is to expose government and corporate misconduct, promoting transparency and accountability. Assange's unwavering commitment to this mission has placed him at the center of a global debate surrounding freedom of the press, government secrecy, and the limits of activism in the digital age. Assange's journey has been marked by both accolades and condemnation. Supporters hail him as a fearless champion of truth, a modern-day crusader against corruption and injustice. His critics, however, view him as a reckless figure whose actions endangered national security and jeopardized the lives of individuals named in the leaked documents. This polarization of opinion reflects the complex and often uncomfortable questions raised by Assange's work. The Path to Confinement From Publisher to Prisoner The road to Assange's confinement began in 2010 when WikiLeaks published a series of classified documents leaked by U.S. Army intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning. The documents, which included diplomatic cables and military logs from the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, revealed sensitive information about U.S. foreign policy and military operations. The publication sent shockwaves through the international community, sparking outrage from governments and igniting a firestorm of debate about government transparency and the role of whistleblowers. In the wake of the leaks, the U.S. government launched an investigation into Assange and WikiLeaks, accusing them of espionage and conspiracy. Facing possible extradition to the United States, Assange sought refuge in the Ecuadorian embassy in London in 2012, where he was granted political asylum. Assange remained confined within the embassy for nearly seven years, his movements restricted and his communication monitored. His situation became a diplomatic quagmire, straining relations between the United Kingdom and Ecuador. A twist in the tale, the unexpected plea deal. In a surprising turn of events, Julian Assange struck a plea deal with U.S. prosecutors in 2023. The deal, which came after years of legal battles and diplomatic standoffs, saw Assange plead guilty to a reduced set of charges related to the 2010 leaks. The plea deal marked a significant development in the long-running saga, potentially paving the way for Assange's release from confinement. The details of the plea deal remain confidential, but it is believed that Assange agreed to cooperate with U.S. authorities in exchange for a reduced sentence. The deal sparked mixed reactions from the public and legal experts alike. Some hailed it as a victory for Assange, arguing that it allowed him to avoid a lengthy prison sentence. Others, however, expressed concern that the deal could set a dangerous precedent, potentially discouraging whistleblowers and journalists from exposing wrongdoing. Freedom's Embrace – Conditions of Assange's Release Following the plea deal, Julian Assange was released from custody under strict conditions. These conditions, designed to mitigate any perceived risks he might pose, include restrictions on his movement, communication, and internet access. Assange is also required to wear an electronic monitoring device and report regularly to authorities. While the conditions of his release represent a significant curtailment of his freedom, they nonetheless mark a dramatic shift from his years of confinement within the Ecuadorian embassy. Assange is now able to live a more normal life, albeit one under constant scrutiny. The long-term implications of his release, both for Assange personally and for the broader issues his case represents, remain to be seen.